Welcome to the configuration guide for the Matricon OPC Mark VI Direct server. This server can provide access simultaneously with multiple Mark VI turbine controllers. To use this server, your machine must be connected to the same unit data highway or UDH as the GE Mark VI controllers. You must also have a copy of the Mark VI site's configuration file stored on your machine. I will explain more about this file later on in the video. To begin, we start by opening the configuration window for the OPC server. Once opened, we will need to define our connection to the Mark VI Direct Network. To do this, right-click Server Configuration, select Define New, and select Mark VI Direct Network. As you can see, only a few options are required to configure this connection. Most can be left as default. To start, let's give it a name. Of the four configuration options below, the two to take note of are Network Adapter and the Mark VI config file. For the Network Adapter, you must select the Network Adapter of the machine that is connected to the UDH. For the sake of this demo, I only have one Network Adapter connected. For the config file, here is where we select the Mark VI site configuration file that I mentioned earlier. This file is created through GE Tools and is required by the OPC server to define individual Mark VI controllers on the UDH and the EGD exchanges that the server can consume. It should be noted that should any changes be made using GE Tools to the controller that a new config file will be created. It is important to keep the server synced with the most up-to-date version of this configuration file.